one of the things that's such a uh, that was I was so excited about in making this record that I'm still so proud of that I feel like we did really well was Ed, and I think Ed still produces a lot like this where it's a very song by like we treated the album song by song, and I think listening to it again like I did last night, I sort of sat down and listened to it all again, and I was reminded that. I, I, and I'm so proud, I thought about this so much in making that record, I'm so thankful that that you pushed that approach and that you were like, man, I just really want to make sure each song is, is we serve each song, because my writing in still is so random, you know, mm. it's very rare that I write three of the same kind of songs in a row. And I just remember being so thankful for that, because I think it started my career in a way that it, it just started my my thing really wide. So it wasn't like Dave does this, it was kind of like this is what I do. And as I got to keep making records with you, I mean we did so many records together, we, we just always stayed like that. Mm -hmm. So I could do something like Grace's Amazing Hands versus On a Night Like This and people were like, yeah, that's what Dave does. It wasn't like, you know, well, I don't know, we know his music is this one thing. And and so um, I think listen back to last night and I, and I remember being so confident of your ability to do that, like because of our love, not only for Soul, but you had done the records where you'd done the earthy, organic, Bobby stuff. And I was talking too, I don't know if you remember this, but how um, we recorded everything, and on the last, like I think we had one more song meeting or something before we had our last, like, get the band together. And we had nine songs recorded. And I remember you being like, dude, we need some more songs. Like, I don't know if you have more songs. And in that same session, I played, um, I played, uh, until you and on a night, yeah, and I was Those like are two s small editions. Well, and oh I was gosh, like, and I just amazing. remember you were so. This is where I think great production happens. Is I was like, man, I got these two things, and I played until you, and I just remember you were like, what, like when did this? And I was like, man, I've had it for a while, and you were like, well, we're recording this, so that's oh, not yeah. unusual. And then I remember playing on a night for you, and you being like, well, where's the rest of it? And I, you know, and and I was so strongly opposed to finishing, which you eventually got me to do. Uh, but First version is probably better though. <laughs> yeah, it may be, because it's the You're worst right. thing. <laughs> but, um, but I do remember that being, I, I fought that so hard. I remember hmm. until you, I was so like against you doing that, us doing that, because I thought it was too poppy and I thought it was way too like, this is what it is. And then it was funny because later, I mean, it's kind of to me the thesis statement of the record. I feel and That like song comes right after Crazy About You, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just, I was, I was listening and I was like, that's an amazing jump that those two songs, I mean, to me, that's a testament to your artistry. Mm. That you can jump from those two songs back to back on a record and it works and it doesn't yeah. feel like completely schizophrenic because they're vastly different. Oh, man, you know? so Which I think I was terrified at the time, but I think you did such a good job of saying, you know, this is what, and I think in retrospect, I mean, like I just said, I really think that song is probably the most center of the record and everything yeah. else kind of goes out from it. I think that's you know, very wise. Uh, and I think before that, like listen to the record, it would have been, it just wouldn't have had that, I feel like it's the anchor that holds the whole thing mm -hmm. down, you know. Okay.